Hi, I'm Gloria Mindak. And I'm going to first say a couple words. Um, it's an honor to be here to celebrate 90 years. Thank you, F. Yanni. Thank you, Carol, Elizabeth, and everybody who put this together. It's really an honor. Listen, the soldiers fire into the people, grabbing women and young girls, shoving bottles where no bottles should be. The soldiers beat them until lips are cracked, rape them again. There is no boundary not broken. The stories travel from country to country. The world says there is no proof. So many died without a burial or casket. So many died unaccounted for. Can't you hear their weeping around 2 a.m.? How can you sleep? How can you when the world holds such a stench, holds so many bones? I have a, a new book that was just released yesterday. I don't have copies yet, but it's called, I Wish Francisco Franco Would Love Me. I get a lot of flack for that title. <laughs> Love. Franco is aiming at my reproductive system. Apparently, he is a specialist when it comes to love. The parliament watches and hails their approval. The country's reaction appears on the front page of the newspaper. I gain strength. Franco is decorated. Another medal equipped and bolstered, hydroplaning my opposition. An advance is made, conflict ahead. A total war, complex, and for 14 days, our love is eclipsed. Disappearance in another country. Investigate the voices buried beneath the dirt. All the white cars being driven around. Disappearance, a villager seeing the same face twice. Bodies incinerated and dumped into water. Hell dumped into the sea. Ashes wash up, the tortures are vicious. And evil for the lost. All the white cars driving looking for a name a body to own, a purity to shove into a trunk. Carmen Polo, Lady Necklaces. Franco would kill after watching a Zarzula, or really anything. I imagine him shooting people to David Bowie's song, Let's Dance. As he danced around with a rifle in his hand, or to the gospel song, swing low, sweet chariot. The woman he loved was disgusted when he was stern and brusque. The notes from her mouth were screechy, her pearls bright around her neck. She liked to censor everyone around her to protect her man. Even she could not escape being trapped in marriage. She always appeared with Franco. Blood affected every household. It was never red always black, dark, and stormy. She kept going back for a daily dose. She could not help it. Fancy dresses and traveling. She never knew that Franco was erasing her heart. Her heart won't recuperate the turmoil of the end. Carmen isolated herself years later, did not want to hear about politics or Franco. Poor thing, who cares? She should have been buried in a mass grave, nameless. And I'll close with houses. The fascists break into all the houses they can, daily, nightly, it does not matter when, grabbing me, my family, shoving us into a trunk, so many of us packed in. The others can hear them killing us, one by one, guns fire, bombs are heard, so many pistols, rifles. Run, people, run, run to the mountains, run, you will be caught. Years later, excavation, a blue tarp covering bodies, 
a silence, tears. Before the terror, a smile. After terror, bones, a body changing, the dead in a ditch. An image of hell coming back from the dead, history told. If an expression could be left on bones, it would express, please do not step on us. We've had enough. Now that you found us, you cannot sweep us back under the dirt. Thank you. And our next reader is Elizabeth McKim.